Thank you very much, Professor David Terdos, for organizing this conference, for inviting me to participate here. It's a great pleasure. And I'm not if you're aware, all of you, but uh, Professor Erdos is a visionary. Uh, he, uh, he has one of the best qualities for academics, because three years ago, he organized a very successful conference in the University of Cambridge, focused on the right to be forgotten, too. And three years ago, it was not so clear that this will be a so famous or successful topic, the right to be forgotten, and how the European Court would resolve the topic. Then I had to declare that he is really a visionary. He has, he, has, he has asked me to talk about the origin of the case, and I will try to do the best. Mm. Before 2007, uh, there were not so many cases in the Spanish agency related to the internet. No significant cases. The story of the right to be forgotten started in 2007 with a first case. Um, related, because this, this is the beginning of our history, related especially on personal information in the official gazettes. A man in the 80s, a young, a young man, was fined by a local police for urinating in public street. He, the sanction was, uh, the police was not able to notify this uh, administrative sanction in the postal address, and the Spanish law established that it's possible to notify in these cases publishing this resolution in an official gazette. The notification was published in an official gazette 35 years ago. But you know, all this paper at this time, who no one read at this time, uh, were digitized. And currently, in 2007, uh, this man, a professor, director of a high school, uh, could check like all his students every 1st September go to the internet to know he was his new professor and he found that uh, 30 years ago when he was young he was urinating in the public street. This is a funny case maybe for it's possible some of you have a smile uh, for this case but I'm sure that for this data subject, it was not a so funny case. He complained and he uh, uh, reached a positive resolution of the Spanish agency, order Google to erase links and avoid future access. Official gazettes were at the beginning the problem because many laws are obliged to publish many personal information. For example, pardons. The pardon law in Spain obliged to publish the government, government resolution pardon someone. In this case, like many others, eh, the man could, uh, was pardoned, the, the pardon decree was published in the official gazette. At the beginning, 30 years ago or 20 years ago, no one read this uh, kind of information, the news, the, these official gazettes written, no one was interested, but all of them were uh, digitized. And as in this case, in many others, <coughs> they found that everyone accessing to the internet could read about this information. The Spanish agency ordered to Google to take the necessary measure to remove the results of the index and to avoid future access. And to the official gazette, the uh, Spanish agency obliged to take the necessary measure, not to delete, because there is a law who obliged to publish this information, but to take the necessary measures to avoid future indexing. That means to use tools like uh, robots TXT. We could talk very much about official gazettes. For example, other laws established that 
uh, civil servant sanctions, uh, disciplinary sanctions, must be published in official gazette. In this case, a, a prison civil servant was uh, sanctioned, the resolution, the administrative resolution was published in the official gazette, but happened that at this time in the 90s, uh, prison civil servants were target of terrorist attacks by ETA, the, the terrorist uh, band. And in this case, the Spanish agency uh, accept this, uh, this uh, complaint. Later came cases related to newspaper, but not current online newspaper, especially news related to old written newspaper that were uh, digitized and that paper from 30, 40 years ago, now everyone can read them. In this case, or many others, that happened. For example, this one, La Vanguardia, main Spanish Catalan uh, newspaper, published in 1989, news related to a man who killed his son, pressing a pillow against his face, sleeping in October 87. He was acquitted for this crime in the trial because the court is considered a paranoid uh, schizophrenia, but the newspaper never published anything about that. 30 years later, he, every time he access to internet, he can phone this information and that affect his illness. In this case, like all the others are related to the newspaper, once more the Spanish agency urged Google to take these measures to remove data from the index, avoid future access, but related to the newspaper, the, this digitized news, the Spanish agency considered that not only there was there, there is a law, even there is a constitutional right, the right of freedom of speech, that prevailed. And that means that the Spanish agency never obliged to remove or to erase archives from the newspaper. What the Spanish agency said to the newspaper in these cases is a recommendation to consider individual circumstances to avoid the indexing by the search engines. That means using tools like robots TXT. We could talk about very much cases related to newspaper, not only um, old news, like this one, 91, a crime, uh, San Juan is a news uh, uh, on the El País main newspaper, San Juan, uh, th there is a news inform about a crime of a plastic surgeon who finally was acquitted, but never the newspaper informed about this acquittal. There are many cases of this one, maybe we, we, we could talk later about. But I will finish this uh, landscape about the, these cases with the, the, the one that uh, was lodged into the European Court of Justice uh, with this uh, preliminary ruling, and the, the case of the European Court judgment. A uh, strange case, if you want. The National Spanish Court could choose, uh, could have choose uh, any other. It has 150 cases to choose. And it chose just uh, this one. Uh, the, once more, La Vanguardia, uh, publish an information, not a news, just a public information, a public body uh, from the social security uh, obliged or, or order the, the newspaper to publish an uh, administrative resolution rela related to an auction of real estate caused by a freezing order derived from debts to the social security. That means that this was not a news of uh, public interest more than after this 
dissemination, the first dissemination, but not for the uh, future. <coughs> you, I'm sure you, you are questioning yourself about the grounds of the Spanish agency to adopt this uh, position. For me, it's, I think, very easy to summarize these grounds because all of them has been, or mainly all of them, has been accepted by the European Court judgment. All of them can be found inside the European Court of Judgment. That means that the Spanish agency, like the European Court of Judgment, or of, uh, of European Court uh, Judgment, established that the European law was applicable, is applicable to the search engines with advertising office in a member state, that the search engines process data, our controller has a direct responsibility, independent of the webmasters, and that, that's it, that it is possible to react against this personal information uh, using the right to object or the right to erase. That uh, there are limits, of course, freedom of speech and information uh, related to public uh, persons or uh, news of public interest. This is the limit. All of this has been established in the judgment and was in the Spanish resolutions. And especially the main ground of the Spanish agency uh, was very better explained maybe in the European Court of Justice. That means that for the European Court of Justice and for Spain, the search engines are not subject of fundamental rights. That means they have legitimation for processing information, but this <coughs> legitimation just is an economic interest. They have an economic interest. They are not uh, subject of uh, freedom of speech. They are not media. And that means that in the conflict between data protection and the search engine's activity <laughs> legitimated by the economic interest, the first one prevails. This is in the core of the judgment, European Court judgment, and it was in the core of the Spanish resolutions. Differences, just one. The European Court goes farther than the Spanish agency, who Always the Spanish agency for resolve case by case, uh, taking into account individual personal circumstances in any case. That means more or less accepting just the right to object more than the right to erase. By the European Court judgment had said no. The right to object is a tool, is a way, but the right to erase too. And why? Because he has well explained that the past of the time, of the time changed the meaning of the information. The past of the time uh, affect to the quality principle because information, because information becomes inaccurate, excessive, inappropriate, or obsolete. I will use my last five minutes sharing some additional thoughts. Victory, as, the, as this judgment, has many owners. But I have to share with you that the Spanish uh, uh, resolutions and that the uh, Spanish agency had not allies in this struggle. Any allies. This is the truth. And that means that Internet users were not allies. When I said internet users, I am relating to the evangelist of the net, of the web, of the internet, <coughs> activist, this organization who think that the internet is a way for freedom of speech. Of course, there were allies, maybe uh, data subjects, the victims of this uh, dissemination of information, who complain into the agency. DPAs, 
data protection authorities, and especially the Article 29 working party, were not allies. Uh, DPA, national DPAs, all the revolutional DPAs around Europe, were in a different uh, way. And in fact, Article 29, in its opinion on 20, 2008 on search engines, last used three lines in a footnote talking about a special national legislations eh, for relating to the Spanish case. They were not allies. Some national judges, it's true, that uh, react in the same way, not the Spanish judges, which lodged into the European Court a preliminary ruling. And mass media were not allies. I have to make a difference. Uh, mass media like uh, compliners like, like affected by these resolutions never accept the res or nor accept the first years this uh, kind of uh, of resolution they don't they didn't apply the spanish agency resolutions but it's true that they broadly disseminate the topic it has a big impact like information the right to be forgotten that has changed I can share with you that, for example, last year, El País, main Spanish newspaper, adopted a new style book. In this new style book, style book specifically a state that uh, recognized the right to be forgotten. And that means accept explicitly the listing news, old news, more than 15 years old news, Never news, never related to sexual abuse judgments, nor accepting erasure of uh, archives, of course, and accepting notice for updating news. This is the way in which the Spanish agency has many times recommend newspaper to react. And of course, Google was not an ally. Uh, it always appealed all the re Spanish resolutions. Um, in which way? Which grounds? It's easy to, found, to find these grounds. You have just to go to the opinion of the Advocate General in 2030 to find all of them and even more. The Advocate General uh, was the best lawyer which has never put the phone, um, Google, telling things. It's true that the Advocate General accepted that the European law was applicable to the search engines and that them were their process data, they were controller, but they, it ma he makes the difference between responsibility of the webmasters and not responsibility for the search engines. And the problem is, or the problem was, that how it considered the right to be forgotten. For the Advocate General, main difference with the European Court judgment, the right to be forgotten. The intention of someone to delete personal information who don't, uh, who, who never authorized to be published was just, was just a subjective preference. This is the word, a subjective preference. Uh, non, uh, no, 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 it, that, he doesn't consider it like, uh, like uh, uh, really uh, human right, a fundamental right. Uh, even he said, a terrible expression, that the Article 28, uh, sorry, the Article 8 of the Chart of the Fundamental Rights just repeat. Uh, what the Directive 95 established and make a big difference with the European Court judgment, which really found all, his, all its judgment on the consideration that the right to be forgotten considered like this is inside of the right uh, of the personal, uh, of the data, of the personal information right consider like a fundamental right like the Article 8 of the Charter established. And 
one second or a minute, just one second to tell that I think this uh, judgment in this case is in a in a wave who started uh, with, with who is, which started with other judgments of the European Court is a, in some way it's a new po significant <coughs> political jurisprudence uh, started with the case Snowden and with uh, with other many other cases <coughs> related to it data retention cases and all this nothing more thank you. Thank you.